This is the first of five videos where we look at the ethical, moral and cultural opportunities and risks of digital technology. In this video, we discuss computers in the workplace and computers for automated decision making. So with the continuing advancement of technology, computers play an ever increasing role in the modern workplace. Some of these impacts are minor, such as servers and desktop computers in offices. These devices allow employees to access modern productivity tools and specialised software, carry out their daily work and activities effectively, and easily communicate and collaborate with one another. In other sectors, the impact of computers in the workplace has been far more dramatic. In the manufacturing sector, Automation in the form of robotics has almost completely removed the need for human workers. Machines can work faster, for longer, as well as being more accurate and reliable. They don't need holiday, sick leave or sleep. Robotics has shifted the skill sets required in a large variety of sectors. Whereas previously a factory may have hired many lower skilled workers, it is now more likely to need a smaller set of highly skilled technicians to run, support, monitor and maintain the robotic systems. Computing technology is increasing allowing more and more lower skilled jobs to be automated. We see this a lot in our everyday lives, for example, supermarket checkouts, airport or hotel check-in systems, online banking. Let's just look at that last example of online banking in a little more detail. So online banking now allows 24 seven access to most banking services with little or zero human interaction. Now at first this might seem like a good thing, but when we examine the impact on various stakeholders, we start to notice there are also some negative side effects. Here on the screen, you can see we're examining the impact of automating bank services on customers, the bank staff, the bank itself and communities. And by spending a little while reading some information, you can see that it doesn't always mean it's positive in all situations. So alongside the rise in technology in the workplace, we're also seeing an increase in what we call automated decision making. Now, this is any situation where computers are making decisions and taking actions based on sets of predefined rules and parameters without any human involvement at all. The stock market is a great example of where automated decision making happens all the time. Traditionally, trading stocks and shares was a manual process involving real interactions between buyers and sellers. Today, over 90% of all transactions are carried out automatically via a process called automatic trading. With no human involvement at all, computers follow algorithms, check prices and compare values against predetermined parameters to purchase and sell stocks and shares. Real-time price comparison sites are another example of automated decision making. These websites are often entirely automated, constantly checking prices while also considering other factors like offers and demand. Automated decision making can also be in much less obvious areas. Vineyards now use remote sensors to track moisture, rainfall and soil conditions. These systems decide optimal harvest times without any human involvement at all. So we've presented you with examples of automated decision making, which enhances our lives. However, as with most things, there are two sides to the story. Would you feel comfortable with a computer making a decision about your health, for example, providing diagnosis or even prescribing a treatment? How about being turned down for a mortgage to buy your first home without any chance to discuss your situation with a real person? With healthcare, there are clearly ethical issues to consider. 
Now, many hospital trusts already use automated care protocols and intelligent systems that can recommend a course of treatment for a patient. However, this technology is only intended to augment or support the decision making of a qualified individual, not replace or bypass their professional judgment. Finally, we consider the fast growing world of AI recruitment. So these tools put possible candidates through an automated set of tests designed to assess their personality, intelligence and risk tolerance. Those who pass are then invited to an interview with a human recruiter. An American system called Pymetrics is used by massive companies like McDonald's, JP Morgan and Kraft Heinz to screen candidates before they even get in front of a human interviewer. These companies claim that the software fairly and accurately measures cognitive and emotional attributes in 25 minutes. But is it ethical for us to judge people based on an entirely computer controlled process? Luckily, the law is on our side. Since the Data Protection Act was updated in 2018 to implement GDPR, provisions have been added. It now states that the data subject shall have the right not to be subjected to a decision based solely on automated processing, including profiling, which produces legal effects concerning him or her, or similarly significantly affects him or her. So you also have the right to object to profiling, including profiling used for direct marketing purposes. Companies should inform you of your right to object at the point of their first communication with you, for example, in their privacy notice. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key questions. How have computers and technology changed the modern workplace? And what is meant by automated decision making? So before you end this video, just pop your pen down and check out this little section we've got going beyond the spec. So keeping up with technological developments is something which ideally you should be constantly doing, especially if you're interested and fascinated in the subject. That can really help you answer many of the questions related to moral, ethical and cultural issues around computer technology. We've listed 10 websites here to help keep you up to date with a fascinating and ever evolving world of computing technology.